Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Carrie Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina. Today is Thursday, April 6th, and boy do I have a beautiful collection of fabric for you today. I am racking my brain trying to figure out what I'm going to make with it. And then we have a returning handmade vendor to share with you as well. So this first group is called Wild Blossoms, and you have to take a close look at this one piece of fabric. Imagine a rainbow of colors, vibrant, free, and bursting with life in wild blossoms. Wildflowers are these brave and bold blooms that proudly show their spirit and beauty. Whether it is a field strewn with goldenrod or Queen Anne's lace adding splendor to the landscape, the range of textures and colors from these wild blossoms is a delight. And this is by Robin Pickens for Moda. And let's see what else she has to share with us. I love love this piece of fabric. I love so many things about this collection. And actually we got two bolts of that first piece that I was holding up because I am pretty sure it's going to sail super fast. Look at the little bees. They're so cute. Yeah, I think this is a new look for Robin Pickens. I actually like the yellow version of this one better than the blue, which is unexpected because everybody likes blue. Oh, this one's so pretty. Let's see, do they have names on them? Not particularly. Sometimes they have fun names, but not this time. There's a nice little blender, little coordinate. And then this one has teeny tiny little bees in it. Very cute. Whoa, I'm making a pile. <laughs> and then here's the last one. So again, that's called Wild Blossoms. And if you're looking for ideas on ways to use that large piece of fabric, we just pulled two of our favorite Villa Rosa patterns that use um, large pieces of fabric in them. I actually made Baby Goose this past weekend, and that large piece would go perfectly right here and in the bottom section. And then Moon Dance is also a good option for um, using a large scale print or a print that you don't wanna cut up too much. So those are both available online in the shop. We also have another new book that I absolutely love. Um, this will definitely go on my list of things to make. It's called Barn Star Sampler. And um, you've got all the patterns within the book, all the patterns for each block. And then of course, like the arrangement and finishing. And there's what the whole quilt looks like as you're putting it together. I really, really like it. And then there's options for doing single quilts with just a few of the blocks. So a very versatile um, book. You could use it for, you know, just a jumping off point for lots of single blocks, or you could use it to make this beautiful stunner on the front. Now our returning vendor this round is Lynn Fisher. Lynn is usually out to the left of the front doors, and this time she's going to be in our meeting center, which she's kind of excited about because she doesn't have to worry about the wind with her um, breakable items. So um, I'll show you these things as I read about her. This is a little garden steak. I describe myself as a trained professional potter who works in a high-fired white stoneware clay. My work is very detailed, patterned, creative, and useful. Look at that little clapper in there. It's really pretty. Uh, let's see, creative and useful. Where is she? <laughs> Any of my pottery can be used in the oven, the microwave, or the dishwasher. There's a nice spoon rest. Um, let's see, she does a whole line of local collage or college and university ornaments and cups. I'm having a hard time reading today, folks. Um, she also enjoys oil painting on canvas. There you go, specializing in animal and nature subjects with lots of color and heavy texture in her work. Our paintings are affordable and will be a lasting joy for generations to come. You can visit the local store called Seagrove Pottery on Kildare Farm Road to see a large display of her work. And then these are her two giveaways. I love this little catch-all um, bowl. And then this one is a bowl for nuts or candy or whatever you want, really. Or both, nuts and candy. <laughs> so these are um, Lynn's two giveaways. And um, because these are so fragile and probably hard to ship, we would love to give these away to our local um, friends and fans. And look at that. That would be so adorable in a small garden. Just something kind of cute to have there. Yeah, Susan says she would like this for her new garden. <laughs> um, so again, our handmade market is only in about two weeks. Um, it's going to be on the 22nd of April from 10 to 4 here at the shop. 
and my camera is leaning, so so will I. <laughs> I hope you have a great afternoon, and we'll see you back here from the shop tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>